Hello, this is Ben Masonheimer with Silver Seas Yachts, and today I'm aboard a very special boat. This is a Tierra C49. We've just received her in inventory. It's our first one. I've had a chance to take her out. I'm really excited to share her with you. All right, here she is. This is our 2019 Tierra 49 Coupe. She has a beautiful metallic paint job. The color is true blue, and as you can see, in the afternoon sun, she just lights up. Very cool hall side windows for the master stateroom there. And you have them up front here as well for the V-berth. At the bow we have a spotlight and a stainless steel polished anchor. You have windlass with hand controls at the bow and you can also control it from the helm as well. As we come around to the stern of the boat, we have a 63 inch deep nautical structure swim platform. This goes down underwater quite a ways. You have drop-in tinder chocks that go here and they're adjustable to fit any size of boat. I might add this is over 14 feet right here so it's a really nice size. As we come aboard we have these nice Corian countertops. Here's your wet bar sink. You have shore power, water hookups and breakers down below that. Next, we move to our lazarette. So this whole hatch here will swivel up with the push of a button, and you have a massive storage area here, um, and then it also kind of extends under the cockpit as well. If you just want to get in there to get your lines, you can lift up, and we have storage here for lines and for your docking poles. Next, we come to our barbecue area. So we have a Kenyan electric barbecue here. Below that, we have an isotherm drawer style refrigerator and freezer. We have cup holders back here, one tin power back here. So just a great area to hang out and entertain. As we step up into the cockpit, we have a hot and cold water shower. I'm a big fan of this new cockpit. This allows you to have three couples sitting together where other coupes kind of spaced everyone out with the dual entries. Those are nice as well, but I think this is a great option to have. We have a large storage. This cushion lifts up and removes, and so you can board uh, or go to the bow from this side as well. Beautiful teak table that'll go high and low. We have a make fast sun awning that extends out over the cockpit area. We also have a Garmin backup camera here. Here's our aft facing seat. This is large enough for two people to sit on most definitely. It has a insulated ice box underneath that drains out the side of the boat. You have your sun awning and light switches on the side of it here. This is a socket for a television that's stored in the master. It clicks in here, plugs in there, and you can watch TV out here. Here's the stereo remote control. And then you have an IPS joystick docking station, which also can control your dynamic positioning virtual anchor function. You can start or stop the boat from this position and control the boat completely while sitting in, the, in this seat right here. Okay, here's our galley. It's full beam. Large storage up above. Wine rack, deep, deep drawers and shelves in this boat. Beautiful stone countertops. Two Vitrofrigo refrigerators. One Vitrofrigo ice maker freezer. 
a Samsung microwave convection oven. On this side, more storage up above. We have this glass effect, which helps with the venting of the stovetop, which is just here. We have a sink. It has a garbage disposal, and I really like this faucet. Plenty of storage, like I was saying. Really deep storage drawers on this boat. Three more here. And then my favorite drawer on this boat. Look at this one. It's not very deep, but it's about three feet by three feet. And I think it's going to be a great drawer for someone who wants to get to their things very easily. So, all in all, this is a great galley. Beautiful views. It entertains right out onto the cockpit. And somewhere I would just really like to spend a whole weekend, I think. We have USBs here. Now we have all of our battery switches right here and the monitoring systems for DC and AC power. Our stereo head unit is here. It has two zones that can be controlled from uh, remote controls throughout the boat or also right through your um, Garmin glass cockpit at the helm. Here's our generator controls, inverter controls, USB in for the sound system. Now we have a set T here. The back of it flips up. We have our DC panel, and here's our AC panel. Behind that, we have a television, Samsung television, and its own sound system that come up from behind this seat here. Either side of it will fold out and make a very nice dining area. You have this nifty cup holder that holds your phones and your drinks, and it can be moved around. Look at these windows, they're absolutely massive, and you can open them as little or as much as you would like. So you can really throttle the amount of air that comes in, and I might point out it's very nice on either side to have the air forward of where you're sitting, that way you get some of it, versus having a small window further back where it all passes you by. Here's our helm. The helm seat is a STID, double wide, the armrest will come up and the backrest is infinitely adjustable. This boat is primarily designed to be driven with this joystick. So many of you know about joystick docking and that's where your movements like this will control how the boat reacts when you're coming up to the dock. That gives you control in any direction of throttle and steering. Now once you're underway and your throttles are engaged you can hit joystick driving in this boat and then you can simply make course corrections uh, by just simply pushing the stick left or right, port or starboard. It's a very, very fun way of the future. You still do have a steering wheel, but mainly you drive from here and you control your Garmin glass helm from this grid controller. So this is a Garmin Volvo glass helm. So it has stereo controls, it has engine data, it has maps. I mean, this thing will do everything. It'll actually plot a course and drive you to your destination. Uh, so it's a very, very um, competent system, but it's Apple iPad easy. It's very easy to use. Here's your SeaKeeper 9 controller, two USBs. Here's your Volvo Smart Throttles, automatic Linko trim tabs, and your ignitions. We have great views from the helm. And as this seat goes for, uh, forward, it also goes up. Um, so you can get as much perspective on things as you'd like. We have a pneumatic sunroof, which allows it to be very large, very reliable, and very fast. Okay, heading on down. Let's go forward into our V-berth. Okay, so here we are in the V-berth. We have a television. We have storage here. This area has its own air conditioning. Light switches and USBs on either side. You have a stereo control here. This room has its own stereo. And beautiful bu views when you're laying in bed and looking out the windows. You have an opening port light up above and a very generous queen berth with storage underneath. Very large storage here. And you have another drawer of storage below that. So 
cedar hanging locker. So just a great area, plenty of headroom, and well done by Tiara. Here's the ensuite head. Now this is the day head, so there is another door here, but you can lock this off to make it a truly ensuite head. Here in our head, again, we have beautiful accents, plenty of storage above, three drawers of storage below, push button flushing, vacuum flush toilet, and a beautifully teak accented shower. Moving aft, we come into the master. Here's our master. Plenty of natural light. Again, you do have the LEDs up above that I do not have on, but you have these great big hall side windows, great views, portholes on each side for a cross breeze. Really large, very, very large hanging locker with a shelf, a shelf up above, and there's your cockpit television stored away there. It needs to be adjusted back, but uh, it should be sitting in there flat. Below that, we have three drawers of storage, storage in the end table. Here we have our air conditioning controls, your stereos in there. You have a USB here, and you have a smart DVD player. Your television's just here. It comes out on a hinge for a better viewing angle, and you have this nice settee just here. I really like this bed. It's really low. So it's not up very high like you find in a lot of boats. It's really like a normal bed height. And it's very large. Again, I would call it a very long boat queen. With queen, but kind of longer than that. Both of them are really long. And again, I'm 6'5", and the headroom in this boat is excellent. We have another storage, but in here they've put a shelf up above, which I really like. One thing I'd like to mention here and in the V-berth, this accent behind the bed is really nice. It's, it looks great in person. Here we have a washer-dryer combo and more storage. And across the way, we have a dresser with five drawers, plus you have another, um, you have another a nightstand and another USB port over here as well. This room again has its own air conditioning and heating. Here's our master head. Again, we have the push button toilet, beautiful teak floors. And again, a very large shower. This one has a bench in it and the teak accents down below. You have an opening port light or a porthole here, storage above, storage here, and more storage here. Now the third stateroom here, we opted to have a door here because people do like to have a third complete stateroom. You can get this with the sofa there with just a curtain or as a utility room with no sofa. So as you come in, you have this sofa here. There's USBs and 110 power up above. But what you do here, you grab the backrest. It comes up and there's straps that attach up here. And this is an old tiara trick they used to use in the opens, and it makes it into bunks. It's really nicely appointed. It has light. It has uh, power and outlets for the person below and above. And it's uh, climate controlled. So just a nice little third stateroom. to the bow. We have hand holds the whole way up and the railing is nice and tall and we come up to this beautiful layout area here and as you can see it's inset so even if it's down like this you still have a headrest and you're much much lower than the, the captain of the boat so you can be up here laying down and not blocking his view. You have cup holders here and you have little shelves, little nooks for your phones and things. The backrests here 
can lift up. Let's see if I can do this one handed. There we go. They lift up and they have three different positions they can go into. You can see your Garmin 48 mile array radar up top and the boat is wired for uh, satellite television. Okay, so I'm in our engine room. Right between the two engines and forward of them is the Seakeeper 9. You have all your through-haul valves, very easy and close at hand. Raycore filters, fire suppression, 250 gallons of fuel on either side. And great headroom and very nicely laid out. Here's our IPS 800 engines. Outboard of that, we have our water heater, drain plumbing, water pumps. Aft of the port engine, we have the Cummins Onan generator. Here's your other engine here. Underneath your floorboards, you have batteries, and there's a ton of room under there if you wanted to add something else. Here we have our main DC panel with battery switches, battery chargers. There's your inverter, bonding system and a great big area here that you could put something like a water maker. So all in all, this is a great area, lots of headroom. The ladder is removable. I think it's going to be a very pleasant engine room for anyone to come down and check fluids when they're ready to head out for a trip. Okay, that's going to conclude our tour of the Tierra C49. We're really excited about her. Let me know what you think of her down in the comments. And again, please feel free to contact me if you'd like to purchase a Tierra yacht from Silver Seas Yachts, a used Tierra yacht on the brokerage market like you would find on Yacht World or Boat Trader, or really any boat in the country, I can help you get it, inspect it, and bring it here. Again, I'm Ben Masonheimer. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you out there on the water.